It's been a year since a deadly Twin Parks fire tore through a Bronx high rise. 17 lives were lost, including eight who were children. The community came together to observe a day of remembrance to pray, heal, and rename a street 17 Abulai Toure Way. The borough president, Vanessa L. Gibson, wanted to remind us about this significant event. We lost 17 neighbors, nine adults and eight children, the youngest being two years old, and we are forever changed. Uh, but, but while we're damaged, we're not destroyed, and while we're bruised, we're not broken. Uh, we will heal as a community, as a city, as a state. I believe that we've learned a lot. We have made a lot of progress around regulations of space heaters and fire alarm systems and self-closing doors and holding landlords and government officials accountable to what we're supposed to do. And the fact that too many families and our city and our borough are forced to use space heaters because of insufficient heat and hot water is really unacceptable and we have to do better. This fire was completely preventable. We may never know how Haji Dukare, close friend of Abulai Toure, is feeling. However, he felt the need to speak about the life of his friend and what he meant to the community. Well, I'm, I'm full of mixed emotions. Like you said, it's a day of sadness and it's a day of um, celebration. Uh, one of the things that our religion actually discourages us from doing is like having <laughs> memorial services. Um, the whole reason behind it is we don't want to relive that day again. All right? We just want to continue and move on as we were taught that from Allah we came and to him we shall return. So that's one thing then. I'm happy today because we honor somebody that's very dear to our community, Abulai Toure. You know, when some of us came here, I came here in the spring of 1988. And I remember walking through those doors and went to, to see Ablai. And he meant so much to me. He was, he was an inspiration to me and, most, and so many other Gambians that, that, that came to this neighborhood. With such tragedy that has occurred, we had to ask council member Oswald Feliz what steps need to be taken in making housing a better place. To Earlier this year, we passed legislation. Uh, first, uh, ensuring that space heaters are safe. Uh, so we passed legislation requiring that uh, for space heaters to be sold in New York City, they need to have automatic shutoffs uh, if they tilt over, if they overheat, just to have that level of protection. Um, also, we know that this fire turned into a tragedy uh, because the self-closing doors weren't working. So we were able to pass legislation uh, strengthening laws, giving landlords 14 days uh, to fix them and also string up increasing fines if they're not fixed and also if they're not fixed requiring that uh, the city makes the fixes and then send the repair costs to the landlord um, but at the same time we, we have many different causes of fires uh, we know that a growing problem is the the e-bike batteries and we we are currently working on legislation because we cannot allow another fire tragedy to happen again as we know this is a day of remembrance but also a celebration we hope that the families can continue to find strengthening in the community and we hope that more proper procedures are taking in making the Bronx a better place. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.